how's it going guys i'm steve it and welcome back to my channel i'm going to be reviewing my mini clubman 2.0 sd so let's get into it so we're actually going to talk about the back of the car the bombay doors as i call them and it's surprising it's actually got quite a lot of room i do love it and so this comes up and there's also a 12 volt plug in the back so if you've got a cooler you can always stick cooler in there stick some drinks in there and take it away wherever you go uh, what i've actually put in there a little bit, a bit of a protector cover and the seats actually go right down so we'll do that and surprisingly there's actually a lot of room in there so if you do a bit of DIY on the side so you could hobby craft on here or b and q you can get probably a couple of meters of wood in there that's right I, I love it I, I love this car and it's really good for space and everything else now being a mini i've always been known not to have that much room but surprisingly i've got quite a lot of space in there headroom anything else but i so i wouldn't want to get three people in the back of here because it can be quite snug but no I, I, that's really good for space and everything else and got nice size pockets through there and another 12 volt socket down here so it's pretty good down on there but yeah so we'll go around to the front <laughs> so getting into the car it can be a little bit snug if you've got heavy boots on or anything like that but say door wise you get a full drink in there you can probably get say a couple of mcdonald's sized cups in there and down in there now let's just have a quick look around in the car so you've got your dolls your car, little elements here and little light change in there and stuff but i say the entertainment system i i feel is a little bit outdated but i can't grumble at an old car let's say down there so you've got media you've got your radio you've even got your sat nav i'm not a big fan of the sat nav because it's a little bit fiddly to play around with but it's it's doable um i might do a few upgrades i might put apple carplay in there and a few other things and so you've got two storage compartments there i still haven't got a clue what to stick them in but so i've put some paint in there and my adapter so i can decode and if else when i do add some new stuff um i mean this feels a little bit plasticky but it is actually a very solid firm car so let's actually get into why i bought the mini clubman um for seven years i owned a voxel corsa 1.2 petrol and after the last year or so i kept thinking i want to change the car and i kept looking at several different cars and i thought i really don't know what to want and i sat in several different cars like a ford cougar another uh another few hatchbacks and i really couldn't decide what i want and i, I still wanted a hatchback but also wanted a bit of space because the Corsa was almost like a TARDIS. You can really fit a lot of, you can really fit anything in there. So I've got a lot of fishing kit in there. I've got wood, so I carry slabs about. And I mean, I, I hammered that car, but it, it took the weight. It took everything I needed. I say of the Corsa, I, it had so much room in, in that court car that it really took everything that I kind of needed. and. The sort of car I'm looking for is some that was had a big enough boot space that could carry a lot of stuff when I needed to, um, or still like a hatchback, something that still handled like a hatchback, and also I wanted a bit more sportier. So I looked at other states and I, I just thought they're just a little bit too long, and I thought I want something that I can easily manoeuvre in and out of parking spaces, um, and something that I can enjoy, you know, something that I can like really not thrash it, but kind of has a bit of power as of when I need it. I want something that I can enjoy. I can just plot, plot work forward to work. Because I found with my Corsa only being 1.2 litres, I kept feeling I'm pushing it a little bit harder than I should. Um, but it was a good car. It was a good like second car I had over, ever owned. I just want a bit, a bit more power. Some like a diesel as well, because I'm doing the extra miles as a HGV driver now. I, I, t I travel to just get to work, etc. I just want something that really gone fuel because um, I found my Corsa going back for work. I was getting through 100 quid a, a month, and um, but now I'm getting through 70 quid a month, which is really benefit for me. So 
it's, it's cheaper in that one. Um, but also, eventually, I wouldn't want to get a caravan, and so I, I can start towing. And the, and the Mini Club one can tow a caravan up to, well, this one can up to 1300 kilograms. But I say the other reason uh, why I chose a Clubman, it kind of ticked all the boxes. It, you know, uh, it kept looking at different reviews. Um, and I took it for so when, when I saw it in the showroom, I took it for a test drive. And I say it handles so well. I say it's, it's smooth around the corners. It's if it, it feels planted onto the ground compared to the Voxer Corsa, it was very lightweight. It was you, you probably get battered by the wind quite a bit and so on from there. But I say this is it feels really planted to the ground. It handles so much better. I mean the steering wheel when I first started driving, it felt a bit small, but now it feels I can feel it feels like a go kart sort of feel. But I say everything about this car is so smooth. Plus our twin turbo diesel is, it makes it so much better. <laughs> As I looked at other cars and everything else, and there was just something about the club, I, I never really wanted a Mini, so a Mini didn't really appeal to me in, in any way, because a lot of people think I chose a Mini because it's a Mini. And I thought, well no, I didn't choose a Mini because it was a Mini, and I don't know what the stereotypes of Mini is, or unless they've got a big brand name on them, I, I don't really know. Um, but I know this is meant to be a binny of, of, of some sort um, because it's being doing mini etc. But I so say I love how it handles going around corners and I say compared to my Corsa, this is such a better, such so much of a better car. I say you can really like go around corners so smooth. sound as well it's, it's very quiet there's not much wind noise and I think if you're looking for a mini clubman you know you just got to give it a lot of test drive um, if you're looking for something that's a hatchback feel it's not so big you can handle it very well you can reverse it you know easy <laughs> this is kind of ticks all the boxes for what I want and it's a very good say family car as well and apparently if you've got dogs as well, you're meant to be able to get dogs. I mean, if you've got a new Farallons, I wouldn't recommend it. But small dogs, probably got a Spaniel, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever dog you got, just, I, I wouldn't re recommend it for a big dog. But the Clubman, to me, it feels more of a, the gentleman car, you know, if the little mustache. But other than that, it has that quality firm to it. I think that's what I kind of mean by the gentleman sort of car. It's, it's quality, it feels nice, it handles nice. It's kind of everything that you want in a car, for me personally. But say putting it into sports mode, I, you can notice the difference. It kind of tightens acceleration, um, so your rev range is a little bit higher. And eco mode is just as good, and it kind of releases the acceleration, so you're not too heavy on the throttle, etc. And the miles to gallon, um, I haven't really noticed that much, but I know it feels better on fuel, if that makes sense, I think. I can't really say it feels better, but I say it says you can get over 400 miles range in it. Um, but I, I reckon I probably, I probably end it probably less than that because I kind of drive a bit heavy-footed a lot of times. I think I love about this car because if you have a busy day at work or a hard day at work and you think it's nice to get into a car that feels comfortable, something that you can probably go to countryside and have a, have a bit of fun you know have a go you think you can actually enjoy the car and I think it helps with the bucket seats because you feel a bit enclosed into it anything else I think there are quite a f there, there's not a quite a few downsides to this car because there's everything about this car I do like when I first started driving it it felt quite wide um, the length didn't actually put me off because I think a few people think the length but it's, it's no different to I say the countryman but other than that, I so I think, as I said, it, it feels a bit wide because every time I go around corners, I kept catching the, t the wheels. And being black alloys, ouch, that stings. So I had those repaired because <laughs> I literally really bad damage on it. Um, but I've, I've got a few accessories that I've added to the car, um, some some alloy wheel accessories, so they, they kind of clip onto the car wheels and 
day it just it just protects a little bit and so far I've only caught it a little bit but I'm, I'm trying to be a bit more careful as of when I'm driving sort of thing but, but other than that it's so smooth very smooth even on country roads I mean I, I, I think when because uh, of the British roads everyone talks about the British roads are absolutely terrible for potholes and everything else and when I do hit a pothole because I, I just miss it and, and you hear a loud bang you think oh, oh you know oh crap <laughs> oh fudge um, and, and you quickly pull over you check your car and it's fine but I think being a mini it's, it's got smaller wheels and when you do hit a pothole it, it's a loud crash and you think have I just damaged my car luckily that it's fine but they really need to sort these potholes out. I don't really know why they let to get to that state, but along lines out, it's, it's what it is. So anyway, let me know what you think. Like it, subscribe it, put the bell notification on, and stay tuned for the next one. Thanks for watching.